All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to edit photos uh, for your backdrops in FreeShow. Now, these don't just have to be used for backdrops, but we're going to look at it as if the scenario is you've got this photo uh, or this image that you've captured or you, you've uh, downloaded, but it's too bright for your background or it's just not working right because it's too much contrast. In FreeShow, you can actually make the adjustments needed to make that picture work. And today I'm going to show you how. So we're going to go to the media tab and then we're going to go down to I got some files here and I've got a bunch of different backdrops here. I'll go to grunge and I've got this one. So we've got this. I don't know what kind of wall that is, some kind of a brick wall and I like it. I think it looks great, but it's a little too bright. And so what you can do to get it to be less bright, you can right click on the image and we're going to say edit and we see the image here under the edit page and I'm going to go over here and we've got an option to say make it fit by containing it uh, we can flip it we can flip it horizontal or vertical but we also got this option called filters here so change the look of the selected element we click on that and it gives you a whole nother menu and I can say I don't want it to be as bright so I can turn the brightness down on it and while I'm doing that what ends up happening is you'll see the brightness go down on the image, okay, on the backdrop. And that's a little too dark for me, so I'll bring it up just a little bit. But I think I don't want it to be as contrasty, so I'll turn the contrast down and to kind of mute it out a little bit to make it a little bit more even. And then you can change the opacity if you want to. You can make it more grayscale. This is more of a black and white image anyway, so that's not a big deal. But that would be the route I would take. I would probably dim it down just a bit to make it something like that. Uh, and as I'm editing and I come back out so I can uh, go back to my show mode. And I've got that image in there and it's still there for all the, the scriptures that I've got there. But just a quick recap, go to your media tab and then you'll find an image you like and you right click on that image and you click on edit. And when you click on edit, what ends up happening is you've got an option to change the video or the, the photo settings. And when you change the photo settings, you go to the filters. In the filters, you'll be able to change the hue. So let's say I don't like the hue of this one. So I can actually change this to go up and it can go all the way to 100. So let's make it be 50. And it makes it a little bit more blue in there. Let's make it be 75. And it makes it even more blue. So you can change the hue, right? You can even make images blurry. And this is a cool effect. So you can up that all the way up to 10, actually more. You can blur it all the way out to, I'm guessing, 100. Let's see. You go 100, it'll make it that blurry. And this is a cool effect. I would say keep it down to where it's more realistic. So maybe uh, probably around 10 or 20, depending on the image. And we've got that there. We can make it blurry. I like it a lot less than that. So I'll probably say two. And then I'm good with that. And I can go back to my show. Now to get that image to show up in my background, I have it here, the blurred out version of it. So I can click on that and you'll see it there. All right. Let's go back and see what that blur would look like on this brick wall. And then we'll wrap this video up. So I can right click on it, edit, and I'm going to go to filters. And let's check out if we blur this out a bit. It gives it a nice effect, and that's what I'm looking for there. Something that would just kind of make it a little more subtle, but if you look close enough, the image is there, um, and it's nice and solid. And what I'm looking at is how it looks on the screen. So if you look at it here, you can see that it doesn't look bad. And if I turn that blur all the way off, you see that it's these solid lines back there that can compete with the lyrics. Uh, or the scripture. So I'm going to turn that blur back up. So it just kind of softens it quite a bit. And that's all the up to four. And I really like that feel. And I can go back to my show. And when I get back to the show, it is all good to go. And that will stay with all those particular um, slides that I've got in terms of this case, the scriptures. And the way we got there is we went to our media tab at the bottom and we just picked the image and right clicked on it and then went to filters.
And that's how you adjust and edit your photos, your images for your backdrops and or slides uh, using Free Show.